Is that how spring been going? It's almost over, I guess. But. Yeah, last spring, I mean, been doing good. Just been stacking days every day with my boy. Time, time went down, so we gotta keep going. Been around a little bit. Zai going into your third, right? Yeah, third spring here. Mm -hmm. Like, what, what's the comfort level for you and then what they're asking you to do within the offense? Uh, really, I'm really comfortable uh, at what I'm doing right now in the offense. I mean, I've been around this offense, what, going on my second year, I think? Yeah, I mean, yeah, second year. Well, no, third, 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 I'm true, I'm true. I'd make sure London came with me, yeah. yeah. I mean, we came together. But yeah, I'm real comfortable knowing what I'm doing and uh, just trying to help help out. I'm trying to play a little leader role too as help recruit, recruit out a little bit with uh, the old line and everything since I'm one of the older guys now or whatever. So that's what I'm doing. Pretty seem, comfortable. It seemed like you and Kroot and Geski, guys who, mm -hmm. who had snaps here a year ago, would, would maybe settle into that role. Like, what's that look like for you, that leadership role? I mean, uh, leadership is just uh, making sure, like, the young guy getting up in the morning and uh, texting them and just letting them, uh, encouraging the young guys, like, don't give up and stuff like that. I mean, just being a leader, being there for your teammates, and we're really just being a leader. Scott, what you, what's been your impression of the running backs this spring that were able to go? Obviously, Caden can go, but mm -hmm. Aiden, what would you think of how, he, how has he done so far this Aiden? Yeah. Aiden Lawford been getting through there. We call him uh, A1. A1 been getting, we open them holes up. A1 spit out there like a little, uh, I don't know how to put it, but come through them little holes. And once he get through there, it's over with. Yeah, A1, he's been a hell of a spring for um, Aiden. I've been pretty pleased with what he's been doing this spring. How, how about Josh? Josh McCray. <laughs> And then you give what you give for Josh McCray. You run into your back all the time, big back. So you got to open the hole up a little more for Josh McCray. But Josh McCray, a big, big back. And I've been pleased with what Josh has been doing, too. He's been doing good. I so love this, your smile when you talk about your teammates. Are you guys a close group? Yeah, yeah. All, everybody close around here. I love when they say family. It's really family, right? I like it. I know a guy who's played inside, played outside. Coach Miller talked about you know mm -hmm. the power you have, especially at guard. Like, mm -hmm. Is that a comfortable spot for you, guard? Yeah. Go out comfortable. I like tackle too. I mean, yeah. I mean, I should never play last year, hurt or whatever. But I mean, it's, it's okay. I was should never, but yeah. It's all right. yeah. What was that, that like? I mean, I knew you had dealt with injuries in spring, obviously, in the mm -hmm. training yeah. camp. Like, what was it like to go out there and uh, tackle? I mean, it yeah. seemed like a, a tall order. Mm -hmm. uh, with the, the minimized time I had to come back, because you know my my shoulder yeah. or whatever, and then camp and stuff, I rolled my ankle a little bit. But other than that, uh, just you on the island out there and you got to be on, you on your own really out there. So like, you just got to be focused on every snap you get or whatever at tackle, man. So guard, same. You just, everything's so much closer in the inside. So everything coming quicker and you know what to do. You lost two good guys on the line, two good starters, but how are the new guys doing coming in there jumping? Uh, JC Davis, he hopped in, yeah. doing everything well. Melvin Presley. They, they all balling, like all of Kevin Wiggins and uh, even the freshman, new freshman, A.J. Dennis okay. and uh, uh, Brandon Hanson, they all coming in, putting someone under my wing and just, you know, we all doing this together as a team, O-Line Pride. What was the biggest thing you learned from that experience last year? And what was the kind of biggest things you improved on? Uh, say for instance, uh, well, all the stuff I went through, all the couple games I played bad and stuff, there was adversity is just, when you down right now, uh, you just keep go through. You are gonna go through adversity a whole bunch in your life, and uh, that was that was my adversity right there. So uh, when I went through that, that was horrible. But I just kept going through it. Called my mom, my parents, everybody back home, encouraging me, everything, and it just kept getting better and better through the season. Everything. How much did your physical health play into that? Were you, were you feeling good physically last year? Uh, what what Oh, would you? Oh, to my like in the beginning? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was feeling okay. I was like I said, I was kind of hurt, but it, I mean, it's all right. It just, it's just a process, man. It's a process. How did that adversity? How do you feel like that helped you, or maybe help me be a better player? To I am, I mean, who I am right now to this day, I'm way better. I'm 100 percent rolling, shoulder good, ankles good, everything good. You see, I got the boots on today, <laughs> <laughs> so he's pretty heavy. Keep my ankles on. <laughs> yeah, we pretty good though. I mean, like when you went back inside, like you played well. Like it looked like the mm -hmm. Zai we saw the year before. Like did that mm -hmm. build confidence to get back in there to familiar spot and yeah. kind of play at that? Level? Yeah, no doubt. Uh, when I'm inside, I'm comfortable inside. I mean, just outside, I was like I said, it was quick. I ain't did this in junior college, so we <laughs> everything would happen. Hop back outside, inside. I mean, it's crazy. But when I'm inside, I'm comfortable. Everything comfortable. Yes, sir. How did Coach Miller help you with that? Coach Miller. Yeah. How, which what was his role in helping guide you through that, especially uh, uh, early on? Uh. 
telling me basically like, uh, since you heard me, we're gonna reach you back inside. Basically saying like, uh, he helping me like what I've already been doing in 22 or whatever, like um, just helping me. He already know I'm comfortable in the inside, so put somebody else on the outside and we can go to work. You mentioned Melvin mm -hmm. Priestley, what's he bring to the old line? <laughs> Melvin Priestley, that's my boy. He, uh, he been balling. Been doing good. He asked me every day, like, what what can we improve on? What he can improve on? And thing we can do as the team. And he, he a hell of a player, aggressive player, a good, great player. Seems like a quick twitch.